Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm starting off by spraying MAC Cosmetics Fix Plus Spray on the skin to prep it while we work on her eyes first. I am then going in with the Anastasia Brow Definer in the shade Medium Brown to give her brows a little bit more definition. Next, I'm mixing MAC Pro Longwear with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and applying that with the Sigma E15 brush to clean up the brows. I am then using the excess to prime and prep her eyelids for eyeshadow and then going in with a damp sponge to blend everything out. Taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and any flat packing brush, I'm just going to set down that concealer before going in with her eyeshadow. And then here, I'm just taking the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel to set her brows. Going in with the Jaclyn Hill Palette in a BMX 430 crease brush, I'm going to take the shade Silk Cream and work that into the crease. Oh, um, I forgot to show the clip of me going in with a different shade, but I'm now taking that same brush and deepening the crease with the shade MFEO. I'm not really sure what that stands for, but yeah. Still using that BMX 430 brush, I'm once again further deepening the crease with the shade Butter. I am focusing the brush on the outer areas of the eyes and lightly blending the shadow towards the inner. This is going to give a sultry look to the eyes. Then I'm going to go in with the Sigma E25. I'm taking the shade Buns and placing this on the outer corners of the eye. <laughs> Buns. I continue to darken the outer corners with the shade Chip in Central Park, being sure not to bring this above the crease. Um, disclaimer, I know this can seem very like tedious and hard, but building colors like this and blending them until there's no harsh lines is key to seamless eyeshadow looks. Going in with Makeup Geek's Foiled Eyeshadow in the shade Starry Eyed, I am now going to use a MAC 242 brush to pack this onto her eyelid. I am so sorry that this angle sucks. Me and Rachel weren't paying attention, we were talking. Sorry. I wanted a little bit more shimmer on the eye, so I then went in with Stila's Magnificent Metal Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Kitten Karma, and I just popped out in the center of her lid. Then I'm just going to take my E25 brush and make sure everything is completely blended. Here I'm just taking a makeup remover wipe to wipe away any of the fallout. For eyeliner, I'm going to use my favorite eyeliner brush ever, which is the Sigma E06 in the Pretty Vulgar Gel Eyeliner in the shade Blacklist. For mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Carbon Black to coat the lashes before putting on falsies. The 
the false eyelashes I decided to use were the Kiss Lashes in the style 01. Moving on to the face, I'm going in with Cover FX's Blurring Primer and applying this mainly to her T-zone. For foundation, I mixed Lancome's Absolute BX foundation in the shade Absolute Pearl with Maybelline's Matte and Poreless in the shade 112. And I'm just applying that with the Sigma F65 brush and then blending it out with my damp beauty sponge. Then mixing that MAC Pro Longwear Concealer with the Maybelline Concealer, I'm just going to apply this underneath her eyes, a little down the bridge of her nose, on the center of her forehead, and the chin. Then I'm just going to push the product into the skin with my Beauty Blender. <laughs> To set that concealer, I'm taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette with the Morphe E48 brush and using the two lightest shades to press underneath her eyes and everywhere else I put the concealer. Then to set her face, I'm just going to take the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium with the Sigma F10 brush. Taking the same gel eyeliner and the 06 brush, I'm now just applying eyeliner to her waterline. I'm also not really sure what we were laughing at. <laughs> Here I'm going in with the small definer brush with the shades Chip and Central Park from the Jaclyn Hill palette and pushing this as close to the lash line as possible. Then to blend it all out, I'm going to go in and use a Morphe E18 small blending brush. And then after this, I'm just going to go in with a disposable mascara wand with that same L'Oreal mascara and coat the bottom lashes. To bronze and contour the face, I'm going in with MAC Sculpting Powders in Sculpt and Shade Stir with an Aesthetica P12 brush. For blusher, I'm mixing a pink and peachy shade from Morphe's 9N blush palette and I'm just going to apply this to the apples of her cheeks with a Morphe M403 brush. To highlight her cheekbones, I'm using MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle with a Morphe M310 fan brush. I'm also going to use this to highlight the tip of her nose, the cupid's bow, the collarbones, and the arch of her brow. I am then taking my damp beauty sponge. I'm going to clean up her contour with some translucent powder and allow this to sit for a few minutes to allow her makeup to be locked into place. For lips, I'm going in with MAC's Lip Liner in Soar to outline and define her lips. And then I'm going to go in with Wet n Wild's Liquid Lipstick in the shade Rebel Rose. Taking a big fluffy brush, I'm going to wipe away that excess translucent powder from where I cleaned up her contour. And lastly, I'm going to set her face with the Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray so that ish don't come off. And this is the final look. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye guys. All right, you're the shiz news. Thank you. Stop. <laughs>